What's going on guys? Today we're going to take the VXR standard inlet manifold. We're going to change it out for an EDS performance inlet manifold. Which I've got sitting right here. There we go. I'm going to put this bad boy here onto this. So you can uh, follow along. So release the tension on your auxiliary belt and put the pin in, hold it, hold the tensioner out there and then move your alternator out the way because there's very little clearance on the new manifold so if you come around here you'll see between the manifold and the alternator there's about one or two mil clearance fuel ray is already loose And I'm going to be changing the fuel pressure regulator out for a 3.5 bar from the 3 bar standard. Just a little bit more fuel. And plus it's obviously really old. There we go. It's got quite a bit of um, stuff inside. It's a bit slightly dirty. Quite dirty really. So yeah. Change it out anyway. Got a new one. the ECU off. And now it's just the eight thirty millimeter nuts. Just for a size comparison, that's the standard one, and that's the EDS. It's obviously a lot smaller. And the best gasket scraping tool you can get is a nice set of wood chisels. Obviously, don't use them for no wood, but just scraping gaskets, they're mint. Old gasket. Could probably get away with reusing it, but I've got a new one, so I'll use the new one. Got the new gasket. Goes on that way. And I like to use Hylamar blue on um, on anything that's going to be around fuel, fuel and 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 even coolant as well. Fuel and coolant. Use Hylamar Blue. Don't use silicon around fuel, it just that doesn't handle it very well. Got the Hylamar around the outside. Mint. It's very tacky stuff. So you want to wear gloves. And yeah. But it's non hardening and it's really, like I said, it's real tacky. So it just gives that extra bit of security when you're running boost, etc. Okay, so the inlet manifold's on finally, it's good. 